Well, today I'll be discussing Naruto chapter 627 and an old theory that has been brought up. In this chapter, we got Sasuke's answer. Since Naruto's beginning, all of Sasuke's actions have been influenced by his brother Itachi. That was and is his drive. People were calling Tobirama a flat out racist and I kind of joined in. He isn't a racist as he had a friend who was an Uchiha. Tobirama is just a very cautious character. But maybe the term friend is too much. But he did have respect for this Uchiha known as Kagami. His son was the best friend of Itachi, Shinsui. Um, the third and fourth feel bad for some of their actions. Sasuke recalls his memories of Itachi and he decides to enter the war. The image that Kishimoto had of um, Sasuke and all the memories around him, I really like that. But in this chapter, Sasuke's chin kind of looked weird. Okay, so I got interrupted earlier. So moving on, I was saying that uh, Sasuke's chin was looking, it, it looked weird in the chapter basically. And um, I think I left off with uh, he had uh, memories of Itachi all around him and then I saw a comment on like Facebook or something and someone didn't want uh, they wanted to know why uh, why his memories were just of Itachi or like why there were no memories of Naruto or something and I'm just thinking are you stupid <laughs> it's supposed to be about Itachi it's not supposed to be about Naruto but I guess some people are just dumb and, you know they can't really fix that so uh, let me see okay so basically Sasuke has decided to enter the war I think in the chapter he said something like uh, something like um let's enter the fray uh Suigetsu is thinking about leaving and then when he tries to leave uh Kyrene kicks him in the face or something I thought that was weird at first because I didn't know who it was and looked like they were in chains or something and then um after looking at the chapter for a, for a while um I think I read it I read it once and I looked over it once I she's wearing like a um, some kind of jail outfit I think any or pajamas so she somehow escaped I don't know how she did that I guess because the leaf village is pr practically empty because they're in the war now or something like that um, Kyrie gets all over Sasuke even though he tried to kill her didn't he stab her too or something like that in the fight with Danzo um, I saw a comment on YouTube, someone, someone said something on the lines of, uh, Kyrene, she can read chakra, right? So, uh, she should be able to tell when people are lying or not. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, they said it could be, you know, part of Sasuke's change. Anyways, Orochimaru is, tr basically he said he's just here to see how things go out, go. He's, um, interested in Sasuke more than, uh, Kabuto. Probably not. Some people think that Orochimaru might still be the final villain of the series, and I can see that. So as this strange group prepares for war, the Hok the <laughs> oh wow, excuse me, the Hokages get on their heads in the on the village in the village. I thought that was awesome. You know, you have um, each Hokage on their head. I just I thought that was a great way to end the chapter off. And this is an epic chapter of Naruto. It will be on break next week, sadly but it will return with two new chapters. Uh, I can't wait to see how the Hokages interact with uh, all the people, just everyone, the rookies, Naruto, Obito, Kakashi, should be great. Now, uh, moving on to some discussion topics, let me just see uh, where I'm at. Okay, about three minutes. So, people think that Sasuke is good now, and he will be in the way uh, in Naruto's way for obtaining Hokage and you know in the situation with Madara and Hashirama Hashirama wanted Madara to uh, become Hokage and you know it's been Naruto's dream to be Hokage would he just give it up for Sasuke um, in my personal opinion I feel like the dream of Hokage doesn't really matter now but you know that's just me I feel like uh, it's not even relevant to the so story and I feel like um, in Naruto's fight with Obito, he just kind of shouted out, I'm going to be Hokage, and it didn't really seem like it had anything to do with the situation. But um, would Naruto 
be uh would he be would he give Sasuke his life's dream because they're friends because he considers him to be his friend or something like that or he's in love with him I, I don't know maybe uh Sasuke is completely good now and you know him and Naruto will fight for the position of Hokage um and then cause some people think that uh with the with Sasuke becoming good the whole Naruto versus Sasuke fight is just like canceled it's not gonna happen but what if they fought for the position of Hokage and other than that I still think there's a possibility that Sasuke can become bad again there aren't that many people left to change his opinion except um, I would say Madara Uchiha Madara might be able to say something to, ch to change him cause um as you remember Sasuke's only been talking to like Tobi Toby Obito or whatever you want to call him he's never actually met Madara so I saw comments on someone thinking that Naruto and Sasuke will fight in the tuning exams and if you actually think about it neither of them have actually advanced Sasuke left the village and then Naruto he uh, left the village for two and a half years of tr training or something like that uh, I don't think Kishimoto would would do another um, tuning exams art thing. While it would be cool and all, um, I think Naruto and Sasuke at this point can like demolish the competition. There would have to be some really powerful people in there. They have to change out the rules or something. Um, yeah, they they just like go straight to the final round and go out, go all out and destroy the stadium and all of that. Uh, Sasuke's change of heart was too quick. I agree. Um, maybe this happened over a period of time, and just some people haven't, uh, some people didn't notice it. I'm not really sure. I, frankly, I don't care. As long as he's not really, like, buddy-buddy with Naruto, like, I don't know. I just don't want him to, like, revert completely to who he was in part one. He's done too much bad stuff to just be considered a good guy now. Um... This is, he's still, like, his actions are still influenced by Itachi. So maybe he's just doing this for Itachi, and then after that, he's still going to become a bad person or stay a bad person. So what do you think will be the reaction of everyone seeing Sasuke in the war? Do you think the other villager, the other villages would try to kill him? Um, isn't he, like, a fugitive or, or something? One, uh, some term that you call people... He was called something in, in Naruto, I, I forgot, but, you know, I don't think fugitive is the right term, but, you know, you know what I mean. I also saw this comment saying that, uh, like, I had this idea, um, to list all the things, all the people he's fought, all the things he's done, and, um, I didn't feel like researching it, so I found a comment on you on a YouTube video, and it said that he failed to capture Killer B. He didn't kill any of the Kages, but he probably killed some samurai and he killed Danto. And besides that, if Sasuke is tipping on the scale of this battle, there is no way he gets arrested. Because someone made a comment saying that he might get arrested or something. And I was thinking something along the lines of that. Um, yeah, he really hasn't done anything that bad. He killed Danzo, but Danzo was kind of a bad guy, and yeah, everyone else he didn't kill. Let me see where I'm at. Um, seven minutes. Oh wow, I expected this to be short. I probably shouldn't have added these to the video. So I'm just stealing comments from videos. This one says, "You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the become the villain," and that applies to Obito. And this other one says, you either die a villain or live long enough to see yourself become the hero. And that applies to Sasuke. So they're, they're saying that Obito will probably die as the villain. And then Sasuke will become the hero. I know it doesn't really say, it says he'll, he'll die a hero. But, I mean, Obito's going to die either way. They're probably going to kill him in this war. Uh, that's what I think. But Sasuke might live. And one more thing I saw was that Naruto will get all of the Nine Tails chakra. And it kind of makes sense, you know, his father has the other half the chakra. Yeah.
I'm just saying there's probably going to be a lot of cool stuff to talk about in the double issue of uh, Naruto um, in a week, I guess you could say, just after this week. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, and I apologize for my voice if it sounds congested or anything. If you want to follow me on any social media websites, all that stuff is below. Later. Have a nice day.